Hey guys, how's it going? Lisa here with Desert Dragon Works. I look like a unkempt crazy woman today, but oh well, that's me. <laughs> Just kind of wanted to share with you, I've been out doing some side hustling today. Well, basically I've been out thrifting, <laughs> but I've been doing really well with it lately as far as resale value and that sorts of things. What I'm trying to do, my goal is to get enough money together within the next year so that my brother, his wife, my daughter, her husband, my da my granddaughter, my husband and I, my dad and his girlfriend, <laughs> and possibly our adopted son that lives with my daughter and her husband, um, I would like us all to go like on a family cruise. And um, but it's doable, I think it's totally a doable, uh, what's the word? goal <laughs> so part of the th the way that I'm going to try to get the money together other than saving from the regular paychecks and everything would be to do some side hustling my artwork and whatnot but let me just kind of show you what I've got going on here this is not a whole lot but I've been to two Goodwills and I found some great things now the first rule that you always have to remember <laughs> when you're doing thrifting and reselling and all that is don't ever buy anything that you don't want to sit around and stare at for years on end <laughs> so if it's something you absolutely hate then don't buy it even if it's gonna make you some money because what if it doesn't sell immediately it's gonna have to sit at your house and you're gonna have to look at it unless you're one of those awesome people like Jeremy from What the Hales who <laughs> has a big warehouse and a truck and a trailer and all that kind of stuff and he can go hide it where he doesn't have to look at it right so anyway um, these are all things that I probably possibly would have even bought for myself especially when it comes to the plushies plushies like this guy I'm a huge teddy bear fan. I love artist bears, which are handmade, one-of-a-kind bears. Usually they have jointed uh, oh, uh, arms and legs. Um, they usually have handmade clothing with them. They're usually signed by an artist, usually made out of mohair that's usually imported like from Germany. And they're usually hundreds of dollars. And I don't have very many of them, but the ones I have are so dear to my heart. Well, these aren't those, however. <laughs> I'll give you some examples of some bears that I found in good shape and, and I also have a way to get these guys cleaned up at home and everything but here's an example this little guy was 99 cents and if you can see he's still got a tag attached to him his name is Sean he's a rust berry uh, bear even though this tag is on there it makes him worth just a little bit more um, so that's kind of important with some of these guys the really important thing is this right here, which shows you um, the manufacturer, the just all of the information so that you can look them up and see how much they go for. Well, I looked them up. And of course I looked them up in the store before I bought them. The best thing to do is to go like on eBay or something and look at, find the exact little guy and see what they've sold for in the past couple of months. Well, this particular guy that I paid 99 cents for, uh, several of them within the past month have sold for between 15 and 22 dollars. That was worth time. That was worth my time. You know what I'm saying? So that's not bad. Um, I found this pretty mama. She is a gunned, um, a gunned bear, mama's love, and I paid 2.99 for her. And I've seen. Uh, on eBay, I looked at the sold listings for the past month, 10 to $17. So that's a pretty good return too. Plus, I just, I really like her. <laughs> just a fun fact, my daughter and I used to sell Beanie Babies and, um, and, and trade and all that sort of thing. And we had our own collection, but, you know, there was also quite a bit that we did just to resell. And I'm not ashamed to say that... Selling those Beanie Babies and Attic Treasures bears like I did back then in the <clears throat> 90s was enough money to pay for my wedding and partially finance uh, some surgery that I had that year. I think my daughter was about 12 or 13 at the time, so it's been a while. Uh, the third thing that I found at that first Goodwill is this really neat kind of, it's, it's not really an old one, but it's like three kitty cats in one. 
and I paid 99 cents for it. I got this, I, I picked it because it was very, very clean and very pristine in almost new condition. So I know I'm gonna get more than 99 cents for it. I forget what it was. I looked it up online. I think it was about $12 I could get for it um, on eBay. So that was worth money. So there I spent what? One, two, three, four. I spent like $5 and 10, 35 in profit maybe for a fun trip <laughs> to the thrift store because I did get and also I, I'm a huge Alice in Wonderland fan and I found these 69 cents a piece and they're saucers that go with this really neat um, Alice in Wonderland teacup that comes from Disney parks which I don't have the teacups but I'm sure that if I ever find the teacups online that I won't be able to get those for 69 cents and if anything else you know I'll use them for other purposes but they're just neat they have sayings all over them like um, curiouser and curiouser and we're all simply mad <laughs> things from Alice in Wonderland so that was just the first store I've just finished with the second store um, got quite a bit more stuff I spent $18 at that store but uh, we'll go through everything when I get home I got some really nice glass and I'm only just now learning about glass uh, so I do know that I love colored glass like the carnival glass and depression glass that sort of thing so I've been studying up on all those so that I don't go out and buy fake stuff um, what I have fallen in love with is Hofbauer birds crystal so it's like it's a, a crystal glass it's a German company that makes them and they have this beautiful bird I'm a bird person if you don't know beautiful beautiful birds carved into it um, some of them have got like a ruby red metallic paint in with it and I'll show you when I get home those are really expensive and I have found a couple of them around here for just a couple of bucks and looked them up on eBay and they were going for like 50 or 60 dollars in the past month on eBay even though those are the things that I want to keep <laughs> so anyway just thought I'd share a little bit of my fun going out redneck recycled whatever you call it thrift and stuff today I'm having a blast it's a gorgeous day here in Arizona I'm looking down uh, 68 degrees it still <laughs> it feels chilly <laughs> Uh, I, I know don't hate me but when you are acclimated to you know 68 degrees most of the year I'm running around in shorts shorts <laughs> um, it, it's perfect weather right now there's not a cloud in the sky but it's kind of partly a rainy cool season there's been some snow up in the mountains we have had a few overnight freezes here so it's not like paradise or anything <laughs> I think I think every state has its time of actually being paradise and this would be close to the one for Arizona so anyway sorry to jabber your face off I'm gonna go get me some lunch something to drink and I'm gonna go home and maybe make another video and talk to you guys soon hope you give me a thumbs up hope you come back and see what I got bye bye